So earlier we were trying to find the area under the curve f of x equals x squared from 1 to 3 and we used two subdivisions to approximate the area and as we saw that wasn't a particularly great approximation. So we might ask how could I make this approximation better? And one way is to increase the number of rectangles. So instead of using two subdivisions we could use four. So we could make our delta x one half, cut these regions in half here and use four subdivisions and now you notice we have less unaccounted for area. And that would be four subdivisions or we could divide each of those in half and go to eight subdivisions and get these even smaller little rectangles in here. And you can probably see that the more rectangles we have the closer we're getting to the exact area and in fact the exact area under the curve can be found as the limit as n approaches infinity of that right endpoint or left endpoint approximation. It doesn't actually matter which approximation we use here because in the limit, the, the, the limits end up being the same. So this limit uh, this exact area is what we call a definite integral. Uh, and so we usually notate this for simplicity, you know, so that we have a notation for it, using the integral symbol. You might remember this as the same symbol for an indefinite integral. This is similar um, and related, as we'll find out soon. Uh, so the definite integral from of the function, so f of x dx, uh, the integral from a to b corresponds to the area under the f of x curve from a to b. Okay? And that is the definite integral. Now the definite integral is something that if we know it does correspond to an area, so in some cases we can evaluate it without needing anything fancy. So for example, if I wanted to find the integral from 2 to 5 of 8 minus x dx, I know that this corresponds to the, an area under the curve 8 minus x. And I know what 8 minus x looks like. It looks like a line. Right? There's my curve f of x equals 8 minus x. And the integral from 2 to 5 would be the area under that curve from an x value of 2 to an x value of 5. So it would be this area here. Now it turns out this is just a trapezoidal shape. Uh, I could divide it in half here and have a rectangle and a triangle. And I could find this area without even needing any real calculus. Uh, and so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so first thing I would need is the function value here. If I plug in 5 for x, 8 minus 5 is 3. If I plug in uh, 2 for x here, this function value is 6, and so this triangle is 3 high and 3 wide. This rectangle is 3 wide and 3 high, so the area of this triangle is 1 half base times height, or 9 halves. The area of this triangle is 3, oh, sorry, rectangle is 3 by 3 is 9, and so the total area under this curve is 9 plus 9 halves, right? Or in other words, 27, no, not 27, yeah, 27 halves. Right? And we can find the area under the curve here without even, uh, or the definite integral using area under the curve without needing any uh, fancier calculus.